Hi Cancer, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for April. I hope everybody's doing great. I do wanna take a second to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with every Cancer sign out there. So guys, take what resonates for you and leave the rest for someone else. Keep in mind the energies can reverse or flip-flop. And as always, Cancer, please don't try to force a reading that is not for you. Spirit, can I have the energy of the sign of Cancer? All right. Cancer, you are starting out with the Emperor in reverse. You have the Death card in the reverse and the Queen of Cups reversed. All right, so it looks as if there's a situation that's not completely resolved. Um, it could have had a little bit of toxicity to it, or a lot, depending. Um, I do see that you have strong feelings for this person. However, you are keeping those feelings under wrap. You're holding your feelings back. And you may even feel that this is a situation that has kind of spun out of control. So let's see who's in your energy. Show me who is in your energy, Cancer's energy. Five of Cups reversed. The Ace of Cups reversed. And the Two of Wands. So you're dealing with somebody that's kind of back and forth, wishy-washy. They don't know if they're open to the connection or if they, you know, need to keep the connection closed. They're just kind of, I don't know which direction to go. I will say that this is somebody who has really looked at the past with you. And I do feel that, you know, they are in some regrets about things that have been done here that caused the ending of the connection. But it's like, this is somebody who can't seem to make a choice to save their life. So let's see the energy between the two of you. Show me the energy between these two. Okay, so right off the bat, I can tell you that you're both viewing the relationship slightly differently. You have the Eight of Cups reversed, and they have the Fool in reverse. So I feel like you may have walked away from the connection, and if you did, I feel like it was because you felt like things were out of control. However, emotionally, you're still attached. You just don't say it. You don't, you don't, you know, tell this person that but you are still somewhat emotionally attached. Now, this person would like to have a new beginning with you, but they're afraid to have a new beginning. It's more of that indecisive energy that's taking place. So let's see what's affecting this connection. Show me what's affecting this connection for Cancer. The Ace of Pentacles reversed. There was no stability within the connection. Yeah. A lot of love, but no stability here. And I feel like it ended. And the way things ended, too. So you view this person as being, you know, a little bit toxic here. But yet you're still very drawn to them. Let's see the outcome. There's a new beginning that's trying to come in. But this person is just, they have a difficult time making the decision. It's like they go back and forth in their mind. Six of Cups. This could be a soulmate. It's definitely somebody from your past, but it looks like, you know, there's just a lot of reminiscing, a lot of looking back and wishing and thinking and maybe even looking at pictures or old text. Bottom of the deck is the Six of Swords. Now, this is underlying energy, and it does tell me that you are done with the chaos here, Cancer. You're wanting to move away from chaos. You want something more peaceful. So, let's um, let's clarify. Spirit, why is the Emperor in reverse for Cancer? Page of Wands. And the Three of Coins. Yeah, you may reach out to this person in some way. It could just be as simple as liking something on their social media. I feel like, you, or, or perhaps even like sending some kind of a text or a flirtatious message. There's something to do with, you know, reaching out in a very small manner. 
you it's almost like you don't want to but then you find yourself doing that um, because ultimately what you want with this person is a fulfillment of a contract it could be a past life contract or just for them to be cooperative and you know to to act right <laughs> instead of being wishy-washy why is the death card in reverse why is the death card in reverse Yeah, so this did not grow. This connection didn't grow because either there were financial issues, um, which it does look like there could have been financial issues with one or the other, but it didn't grow because of a lack of commitment here. But somehow it's difficult, and you've gone through a lot. I mean, I can see that there's been a sense of loss here. Um, however, there's still this feeling that you can't quite shake. Um, some of you are dealing with a twin flame connection. And if so, I'm seeing that it could be a false twin flame or it could be um, that, that neither of you are in the right energy to bring this into union. Um, let's see why the Queen of Cups is in reverse. I feel like this person takes you out of your, your normal character, you know? All right, so we have the Fool card in reverse. Interesting, because you both have the Fool card in reverse. And the Queen of Cups in the upright. Yeah, you're not going to give your love to just anybody. And I do feel like before you move back into a connection with this person, that you're going to work to get your vibration up. You're going to get your energy straightened out first. You definitely have feelings for this person, but you also have a fear of going back into connection. It's like damned if you do and damned if you don't. Like, you know, you... You love this person, you can't quite get them out of their out of your energy, but at the same time, you know, you're afraid to go back into a connection because they they haven't committed in the past. There's no stability that's been here. And all you really want to do is to come back together with this person in a stable connection. But there's toxic energy here and it has to do with their indecisiveness and lack of commitment. So let's look at their energy. Why is the 5 of cups in reverse? Okay, they feel like there's unfinished business here. They're worried about it. Nine of Swords, the world in reverse, and the pages. So they're worried about what you're doing. They're worried because they don't know what it is that you're up to. So you may you may not have spoken to this person in a minute. I do feel like you may reach out or you may, you know, do something that gets their attention. But this person's worried because they don't know what's really going on with you. And they have some regrets for how things were handled. They don't, again, it's that I don't know if I want a new beginning or I don't want a new beginning. Why is the Ace of Cups in reverse? I feel like this person definitely thinks a lot about you, especially at night. Because they don't feel like things are resolved either between the two of you. The Hierophant. It ended because of commitment. Okay, so the Hierophant and we have the Five of Swords in the reverse. So there may have been an argument. It may have gotten pretty heated. This person definitely wants to come out of conflict with you. Um, that may have been why things ended because there were arguments regarding commitment. I am seeing that this person, you know, they would like to commit to the connection. They're not gonna fight to do so though. It's that indecisive energy that I'm seeing. And I do see that, you know, this is somebody who I, I feel like um, they just don't know what they want. They don't, it's fear. It's fear that's holding them back. Fear of commitment. I can see it so clearly. They, they actually do want to be with you. They don't know if you're involved with somebody else. Why is the two of wands here? They definitely don't want to have arguments or fighting. They don't want to fight regarding commitment. Um, they do have feelings that they're holding back. What is the two of wands? Thank you. Yeah, judgment. <laughs> and the high priestess. So they do, they do want to come back together with you, but they're keeping it a secret. Some of them may may be going uh, and getting tarot readings, or they could be listening to tarot readings. 
um, you've got the high priestess and the hierophant. You've got the emperor and the empress here. So you may be believing that this is a false twin flame. They don't. They see that there's a spiritual connection here. But they just can't. They're just too indecisive about whether or not to bring this back together again. Um, let's see the energy between the two of you. Show me the energy between these two. Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, and the Death card. Yeah. So, you're both showing up here as single, single and independent. So, there's nothing here that would block this relationship, it looks like. Um, I do feel that you, you may reach out to this person in a moment of... Um, like, uh, I, I don't want to say a moment of weakness, but, uh, you know, you may impulsively reach out to this person and then you're going to be all up in your head. So I do see you think about this person a lot. There's a, a sense here of, there is a sense here of you being very strong willed, very independent. Both of you are, both of you work hard. You're both working at your money. But I do see you possibly reaching out to this person in a, in a moment of impulsivity, and then you get all up in your head. Um, you're both thinking about each other. You're both, you know, wanting to bring this back together. Um, but this person has had a difficult time actually committing to the relationship. And they're still having that. They don't know if they want to just end this thing completely or have this new beginning. And if they have a new beginning, what's going to happen? You know, they get into their head with the what ifs, what ifs. All right, let's see why the Ace of Pentacles is in reverse. One moment. Two of Pentacles, Ace of Wands reversed. Okay, so, yeah, you go back and forth as well. Um... But the reason you go back and forth, Cancer, is because you feel that the relationship didn't grow because this person wouldn't commit. That's why you go back and forth. It's not a matter of whether you want to be with this person or not. It's a matter of, you know, last time I was with this person, they wouldn't commit. They were breadcrumbing me. They, they weren't feeding the relationship. I was feeding the relationship. So that's where you do the back and forth. The person that's in your energy here, they know that this relationship ended because there was no stability in the connection. And the last thing they want to do now is to argue with you about commitment. But if you're wondering if this person knows that this is a spiritual connection, they do. At least they view it as a spiritual connection. I do feel that they're missing the... Um, physical energy between the two of you. They do want to resolve any conflicts that are there. There's a new beginning that wants to come in, and that new beginning could be everything, but it's really contingent on this person making a decision to commit. I mean, you have the Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. You have all of those Aces that want to go into the upright. What's lacking is the clarity and the communication. About what? commitment. Mm -hmm. Let's look at your, and I feel like you felt somewhat betrayed by this person because they weren't willing to make a decision. So let's look at the outcome. Show me the outcome for cancer. Okay, so we have the Seven of Cups reversed. We have the Strength card. It's a strong connection, soulmate connection, or a spiritual connection. And we have the Ten of Cups. So in the outcome, I do feel like you, you're you going to, you have love for this person. It's a very strong connection. But I feel like you're going to make a choice here uh, to hold back your emotions and feelings I do feel like part of it is based in love, but the other part is based on you having that strength of character to do so. 
you may even express to this person that you do love them. However, you know, this fear-based action of having a commitment, having a new start is just not an option for you. You're, you're, you're looking at this person with a lot of love, a lot of good memories. It's a strong connection, but you feel that the options are limited for you because of their behavior. Now, in their energy, I can see that this person sees you as happiness. They feel that they could have a happy family with you. They think about this a lot. They want a reunion with you. But what are they doing? They're keeping it all a secret. They're keeping it to themselves. If they've gotten a reading from a tarot reader, I think that tarot reader has told them that, hey, cancer is the one. But they, they don't trust it. So they're trying to learn how to follow their intuition. And their intuition is telling them, you know, that they're being indecisive, that that you are the happiness in this in this equation. But I feel like they they still pull back. It's a very strong connection. So a lot is going on underneath, like in, more in less in the 3D and more in 5D or on the emotional level. But this person has to grow up. They have to grow up and they have to understand that cancer is not going to, you know, go into a connection with somebody that is lacking commitment. So, and that's part of life. I mean, anything that you want to grow, you have to commit to it, whether it's something financial, whether it's a job, whether it's a relationship. If you don't commit to it and you're in and out, in and out, then it will not grow and it will not be the Ten of Cups. So bottom of the deck is the Knight of Pentacles, which tells me that you may be moving forward, maybe moving away from this, feeling like it's not an option for you because of this person's behavior. If so, you're moving forward slowly, but you are moving towards your own peace. It also tells me that there is a lot that's going on and it's moving slowly. This person's moving very slowly, but it's a maturity level. Yeah. And I don't blame you, Cancer. I mean, I, I I can't see that you would want to commit yourself to somebody who is emotionally not moving forward. You know, I don't know what happened that stunted this person's growth, but something has. And I can see why you're looking at this as a non-option at this time. But this is a very strong spiritual connection. All right, let's see if there's any messages here. And that's why it's so hard for you both to break away from it or to move forward is because it is such a strong spiritual connection. All right, let's see what we have. All right, we have engagement ring. Interesting. Um, it, it talks about commitment. <laughs> so that, that's been the issue. So on your side, we're still looking at commitment. Now, some of you may be having a, you know, an engagement or a relationship, or you might be moving towards a commitment elsewhere. But this is what your highest hopes for this connection has been. Now, in their energy, we have photograph, looking at your photos and missing you. <laughs> so it's, it's a direct contrast here. It's a direct contrast. It, it basically sums up the entire reading. This person's still being wishy-washy, and you know exactly what it is that you want. So, you know, I, I just think this person wants the same things as you, but they lack the emotional maturity to actually move in that direction. They are moving that way, but it is very, very slow. All right, I hope that this has been helpful for you and given you some insight into what's going on with this person. If you have resonated with this reading, hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to my channel until I see you in your next reading. Namaste.